All right, uh, I got everything set up. Um, I did this one pretty quick, but generally, you have the console, right? You have the uh, the outputs here on the side. This goes to the amplifier, and then from the amplifier goes to your speakers. Uh, here on say channel one, we have the microphone. On three and four, I actually have. Uh, the auxiliary on split, right, so left and right. And that's plugged into my <clears throat> computer. Um, now you can see a little bit of a mess, but uh, every, all the cables run up one side, right? So typically, no matter what you do, uh, you want to keep everything consistent. You want to run all the cables on one side. Uh, usually, you pick the shortest way possible. Right, so if running it, say, house right is shorter than house left, you should go the shorter way. All right, so we have all the cables coming over here. And then you can imagine, you know, this is like the stage, right? Where all the equipment is would be front of house, and then in between would be like audience, uh, patrons, customers, whatever. Uh, this sort of setup is to resemble... Uh, like a speaker at like a convention or you know a speaker for like a product launch so typically you'd have just a microphone and like a simple uh, sound thing right for like music right it's like background noise and then you would adjust as the person spoke um, so here at the stage side right that's where all the cable slack goes right so I have the cable slack for the speaker cable slack for the microphone and then another option for cable slack on a speaker is to put it on top of the speaker. Uh, both are pretty acceptable, um, but you just want to ask, you know, whoever your supervisor is, whoever you're working with, uh, which way they prefer it. Um, they're kind of kind of the same. I mean, this one's cleaner, uh, and depending on the speaker, you could probably probably hide it as well. But sometimes they prefer it on the speaker so that everything's like sort of just stacked or ready to go. Uh, so when you strike, you just like carry it away. Uh, I'll test the microphone from the console end in a minute. Uh, but I just want to go over like the cable slack at the microphone. So typically, you, you know, you want like, uh, it depends on the event, but typically you'd want about maybe 15, uh, 20 feet of just slack, and that just stays right next to the microphone. This way, if the speaker wants to, you know, move back and forth, uh, they have a little bit of, a little bit of play. All right, if you, you know, tape this down to the ground, like, they can't move. <coughs> so it wants to be a little slack. So yeah, that's pretty much that. I'll show you the console. So right now, uh, like I said, I got my, my music on three and four, a microphone on one. Uh, typically, so these are the faders. Right? You have some uh, frequency modifiers, right? So highs, mids, lows. Uh, you have the inputs, and then you have this uh, red line called gain. Now, <clears throat> most people think you adjust volume with the faders, but that's that's not how you should do it. So typically, uh, what you do is you keep the fader at zero, right? So zero is actually third line down, so it's in the middle. Uh, and the whole like sound theory is something uh, you're not going to get out of this class, but so generally you keep it in the middle. Um, music is a little tricky. Uh, you know, if you have like a MP3 or whatever, because the device itself has volume. So, you know, if you put the volume on the device at 50, you know, zero, you know, or negative five or minus five makes more sense. But if your device is at full, you're going to want to be a little bit further down. Uh, to me, it sounds a little better when the uh, device is at full. Um, <clears throat> But it depends on the device as well. So I'll demonstrate here what I'm talking about when I say that the gain is your volume. 
right. So I have my faders set at neutral. And then we have the gains. So you can see it got louder. <clears throat> so your gain is really your, your volume knob, right? Then you have the masters, you know, those two, those are generally, you know, in the middle. Uh, it depends on the, you know, what, what you're doing. Um, but just remember that, right? Faders are sort of, you know, middle ground, and you use the gain uh, to adjust the volume. Uh, I don't know if you saw that light. Yeah. So, that light, right, peak. So that means, you know, no good, too much, too much power. Um, right. And you can sort of gauge uh, that via the, this right here. So it's kind of the same thing, right? If you're in the red, uh, you know, it means, you know, it's no good. The system's sort of overloading. You know, you really don't, you should really adjust something else in that case. Right. All right. So what I'm going to do now? So I'm going to grab the microphone. Um, so whenever you're setting up these systems, you have the engineer who stays at the console, does the mixing. Right? And then you have, you know, like the, the setup person who plugs everything in, you know, gets it all going. Uh, typically, the assistant, right, or somebody working for the engineer is the one who's gonna do the mic check. So the person will go on stage, they'll stand in front of the microphone. Testing, 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 testing. <coughs> Testing, testing, testing. All right. So yeah, now it all sounds good. Uh, typically, for you know speaking people, uh, you got to go a little bit higher, right? So I might even go like five, and then adjust my volume a little higher. Um, but yeah, so mic, you know, mic checks. Uh, you just speak into the microphone. Um, Normally, what I recommend is you pull up, say, a newspaper article or say something you've read uh, that's short um, and just read that off like your cell phone. Uh, oftentimes, uh, you'll hear, you know, people say, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. But it sounds sort of like forced and it doesn't sound natural. Um, Right, or if you get someone who's like one, two, three, four, like into the microphone, it, it doesn't serve the engineer uh, a good purpose, right? Because the engineer is making all the levels good for a normal person on stage. Um, you know, if it's a if it's a singer, they might actually bring in you know say someone who could sing uh, short verses, <clears throat> um, but it wants to be it just wants to be natural. What you don't want to do, and I will make sure you get fired, if you test a microphone by slapping the top of this, you're immediately done, right? That's not how uh, you're supposed to test it. I know professional musicians who do it, like normal people do it, uh, like presentation speakers, like that is not how you fucking do this. So the reason why, right, the microphone measures vibrations, right? That's kind of what sound is, a measurement of vibrations. So if you're smacking this device that measures vibrations, right, you're, you're fucking it up, right? You don't want to do that. I mean, it, you know, over, like, it's not going to be uh, apparent right away that you're, you're damaging it, but over time, it, like, you know, it ruins it, ruins the insides. So, yeah, just speak normally into the microphone, you know, don't hit it, and then you're good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Sort of like an overview.
remember that was for the microphone, my sound, and then gain is your volume, right? And then you have master on the side. So yeah, it's pretty much that. Right, another cool thing, uh, you know, if you need to mute something right away, uh, there's some mutes, but just on the, just on the channels. All right, so when I say channels, uh, I mean inputs, right? This one has six. And depending on the console, you know, you can have like a hundred, you can have, you can have a lot. So yeah. I won't go too much into the rest of it. That's more for like sound technology. Um, but the basics are, you have your channels, you have your faders, your gain, right? AKA volume, uh, some frequency uh, adjusters, right? Mids, highs, lows, right? So play around with some of those. So yeah, you know, you could adjust, uh, say like the highs, the mids, lows. If you want it to be like super bassy, uh, that's how you can do it. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Console, gear, um, right on.